What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at a Perseverance photo, and it's from Sal 340. And folks, you're going to understand why I went after this photo. It's one of those photos that are extremely dark, and you know, folks, I love to go after these photos. Now, I do need your help. Anybody who's a photographer, whether it be amateur or professional, I need your help on this. I want to explain why, and of course, you can drop your comments down below. As always, let me know what you think. Let's just jump right into it. You can see right here, Mars Perseverance Sol 340, right navigation camera or nav cam. And you can download it right here as always. It's a 1288 by a 968. Now, jump down here. Now, if you go down here to the description of the photo, it says NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image using its onboard right navigation camera or the nav cam. The camera is located high in the rover's mass in agent driving. This image was acquired on February 3rd, 2022, Sol 340. So this is today's photo, folks, that just come out at a local mean solar time of 1639 or 439. Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. Now, folks, look at this photo. What is going on here? A couple of things come to my mind. First of all, why would the sun look like that in the sky? Now, keep in mind, it is setting, okay? But why would it look like that in the sky? Here, if it's incredibly cloudy, or foggy, that's what it would look like here on Earth. But why is the sun like just centralizing that one little area and it's super bright? Does anybody have an answer to that? I find that really, really odd, okay? That's one of the things I kind of question. Now let's jump right into Photoshop. Let me show you what I'm talking about on the rest of the photo. All right, here it is. This was the size of the photo. And of course we made it much bigger so we can jump right into it. But folks, look at this, what is going on? Like I said, I look at that and I go, what's with the sun? I mean, I don't, I, it's just really, really weird. It's almost like it's this giant light sitting right in the sky. So I question that. The other thing is, when we get into this photo, and I'm just going to show you this right now, we're just going to put the exposure up on this and see what we can find. All right. So you can see that right there. My question is, right here, I'm going to outline this. Of course, it's in green, but you can see this right here on the left, going behind these uh, antenna from the Perseverance. You can see it right here. Then you have a lighter area right here. It's not as pronounced right there. Now, obviously, it would be coming from this light source up here, okay? My question is, does that make sense to anybody? Now, I know you will have some digitalization, and you'll get this weirdness going on, uh, especially when you brighten it up. Now, does that look proper to you photographers? Let me tell you why. Because when I have gone into regular photos, meaning daylight photos, not like this, I've seen different colors, whether it be purple, this color green, all this weirdness in these photos, and they're usually from density that they put this manipulation on. Now, let me just bring the saturation up and you'll see what I mean. Seriously, folks, what is the deal here? Okay, so I know we will see this in some photos. Again, we just brought up the exposure. Now, does that look right to anybody, especially with the weirdness of the sun? Okay, that's for you folks to think about. And you can drop your comments down below now. Let's just go into this because two things is going on with these wheel marks from the Perseverance. One, these are fake here on the left-hand side closest to the rover. Two, they're not fake and they're running over things. So let's have a look. Now, the first thing I saw was this here in the lower left next to this wheel mark. Okay, and I'm looking at that. I'm going, oh, that's pretty interesting, right? That's pretty cool. I see a shape right here. There's a couple little white pieces, almost look like 90 degree angles. Some little circle type thing right here. Notice there's another white piece of something, and this is just by looking at the photo right off the bat. I can see white right here. Then you can see this kind of brownish, whatever you want to call it. It's like it's been brushed over, and then you can see the rest of this. White on the ends here, white on the ends here, and then this looks like it's been scribbled out. Let me show you what I'm talking about right there. Now, let's put a little blur into this and see if we can't see that a little bit more pronounced. Well, I can still see this pretty well right there. See that? If you really look at this photo, folks, right here on the very end of this thing, it's literally going like this. And it appears to be something, a dot or something right there in the middle of it. This is doing this. And it looks like something's sticking up real faintly right there at the top of this item. I'm not sure what to make of that. See that? 
put some blur into it. We can go back and forth. Okay. So I decided to start burning into this stuff and see what I could find. Here's the other thing. Let me just backtrack just a little bit. Again, we see this green. Why do we see the green way down here? Like in certain areas in these wheel tracks. Hmm. Well, let's have a look. Do you guys see these yet? You can see something right here, got a little bit of white showing, something right there, something right here. See that? You can see the shape of this thing going right across. Okay? Something over here. Look at this right here. Blend it in because it's green, but I can see something doing this, folks. But it's like, wait a minute, where does it go? It's in the wheel marks. Hmm. All right, so let's jump into the full enhancement. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the black and white with a little bit more enhanced parts of it. Folks, look at this. Check this out. Okay, again, you can see that very faintly at the very end of this silver piece or whatever that is. But have a look also, and you're going to see this a little bit better because I'm going to put this in black and white and show you the finished enhanced photo. This area right here. This thing is connected to this piece, to this piece. See that? The way this thing runs down like this here and down into this. Okay. Let's put it in black and white. Now let's have a real close up look at this. And folks, all I did is one part of this photo. That's it, right there. And I'm gonna show you something else in the background. You see it at the top left, but we'll get to that in a second. Check this out. Look at the features in here, and I mean the lines and everything else. Like here. What well, looks like little round circles in here. This line or shape right here. See that nice corner going like that? Something right here looks rounded. Something right here, like the details. Look at the line to this. Like this thing is designed in some way. You've got this other piece here. This piece above it, what I showed you right here. Look at the parts to this thing. Goes all the way up. Seems to stop right here a little bit, but it looks like something's real faint right there. I can't really tell. See that right there? But look at this detail here. It literally looks like it's rounded. goes like this and has a round piece. There's another round piece right here. Do you folks see that? See that right there? One there, one there. Let's sharpen up a little bit. It'll probably make it a little bit more grainy, but let's go ahead and sharpen up a hair bit. See if you can see that. Okay. Check that out, folks. Now, if we go over here to this little white piece here, all you see is that little white piece, but guess what? It still continues on into this darker manipulation, but check this out. It looks like something's doing this and has a round circle in it. Folks, see that? Something right here. Now, when I seen this, I was like, okay, two things is going on, like I said earlier. One, the rover's literally running over this stuff. Two, these are fake. Okay. You can see this, like this other piece here, right there. You can just barely see, you can see a little bit of white in this thing, but look at the shape of it. It's literally, it looks like it's going like this. Okay, one part of it is doing this, going up. Okay, of course, this is not too even right there, but you get the idea, right? Check that out. Seriously, what is going on here? I think these are here to cover up what's really here and that they're not real at all. Of course, we know how NASA is. They've been known to blast off what looks like fossilized imprint on this rock, they use the rat or the rock abrasion tool to like basically grind it right off the side of the rock. And of course, there's a big hoopla about that a while back, some years back on the Curiosity rover, right? So when you see this, you go, okay, so what's going on? Are they driving right over this carelessly? Like they've already looked at it and then they just decided to just run over it? Or are these actually fake? Either way, if you look at the photo, it's literally looking off to the left a little bit to see that. Now, check out this other object in the back here. What is that thing? See that right there? Now, it is amongst other things, and you can't really make it out, but you can see this thing going like this. And it looks like this, it's up against some things right here. But there's something right there that's, I don't know how to explain that. Whatever that thing is, it doesn't look like it's natural. Let's just put it that way. Again, any photographer there, tell me what you think about this. What do you guys think about the sunlight? 
is it something you should see like that? Again, we're bringing up the exposure, and you will get these weird artifacts. But again, I've seen these greens and browns and all these weird colors. When I'm burning through some of these photos, you have all of these weird oranges, like I said, all different colors. And to me, that's the intensity of the actual manipulation. Of course, I want to get your thoughts on it. Let me know what you think, right? And there you go. Another wonderful photo by NASA. Folks, you know me. When I see a dark photo like that, I go after it like a pit bull. Why? Because you can bet something's hidden in it. The sunlight doesn't look right. And I think it's just their way of hiding things so that they didn't have to do a whole lot of their own covering up. And we did find some things right near the rover. What could they be? To me, in my opinion, they're mechanical. That's what they look like. It's just bits and pieces. Now, the question is, again, did they run over it? Or did they just put a fake wheel mark over that thing to make it look good and say, well, clearly there's nothing there. They wouldn't have drove over it, right? What do you guys think? As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got more coming up, more crazy videos. Wait until you see some of these. As always, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.